Sea to Summit lightweight dry bags. They're made out of a PU coated 70D nylon and they're waterproof. Waterproof in the sense that water will run off them but obviously if, if you submerge them in water they're not waterproof. You've got five colours. You've got the blue, red, yellow, green and you've also got a black. Obviously these different colours allow you to know what's in each bag because you can go by the colour. The biggest one I have here today is a 13 litre. You can get them up to a 20 litre and they're 120 grams. Now inside the bags a white so that in poor light you can see what's inside the dry bag they're also seam sealed as well obviously when you use a dry bag you're going to fold it down at least three times like that so that you uh you have that waterproof seal there. The usual thing you use your dry bag for, apart from a dry bag, the storage in your pack, you can use it as a pillow, stuffed with clothes. That's one use, that's a pretty common use for your dry bags. Personally, I prefer a pillow The dry sack stuffed with clothes seems to slide around on my sleeping pad through the night and it also doesn't maintain the same consistency as my Sea to Summit pillow. The other day I was on a short hike and I came across a fella who had another unique use for the dry sacks. And this is what he was using them for. Camp booties. <laughs> he told me he'd put a fresh change of socks on at the end of the day. And then, then he used these for walking around the camp. Obviously, this was in a shelter. So he had his nice, thick, clean socks on at the end of the day. And he put these on to protect those socks so that when he got in his sleeping bag at the end of the night his socks weren't covered in dirt so that obviously didn't affect his quilt or his sleeping bag now these would work obviously in the three-sided hut they'd be okay in sand and also grass but obviously you're not going to be walking miles in these but I thought it was quite a quite a unique idea to be using these as uh, camp slippers because I must admit they uh, they feel quite nice on your feet they, they can breathe well and yeah they, they seem to be a good idea obviously they could be another use for the dry sack I didn't actually quiz him into if he carried these two sacks separately for this use they're four litre sacks and they're 50 grams each so he'd be carrying 100 grams of weight I suppose or did he use them as stuffed sacks and they were utilised as these uh, booties I'm not sure I've, I didn't ask him that bit but uh, yeah I thought it was another quite unique use for a dry sack a hike and seeker signing out i hope you found that video reasonably interesting give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel as well okay take care and i hope to see you on another video soon goodbye